So you'll see there's timing down here. You learn time management in Toastmasters because everything is timed. And one of the things I found out is that if you do not have timing on a meeting, you have no control over that meeting. And someone can talk and talk and talk. And one of the things that we have in Toastmasters to help people stop talking is we say, you've reached your minimum time. You're halfway through. Shut up. <laughs> so each of the roles has a certain amount of time allotted. And then the timer at the end will let us know how did we do. Did people stay within their time? And sometimes you'll have some of those people that the red card will be up. And you're waiting. And the red card is up. And then the timer will do this to let them know. And sometimes even then they don't see it, especially virtually. In person, it's easier to see. But virtually, sometimes they miss it. So table topics is the impromptu speaking. And all of you today have been doing impromptu speaking. You've all been doing a little table topic. That was the one thing when I heard about Toastmasters probably 30 years ago. They said I was going to have to do a table topic. A, a, a table topic? I can't do a table topic. And I didn't join Toastmasters for another 10 years. And then I found out it really wasn't all that scary after all. It's just talking a little bit about something you may not know about. It's usually on theme. And it's a beginning, a middle, and a conclusion. The other thing I found out is that table topics do not have to be truthful. Now, I don't know if any of you know Cleo Lamping, but she was in the Pembroke Toastmasters Club. And one night, she talked about having put up this beautiful display of lights and all the things that she had done. And I was kind of puzzled because I had picked her up. And I didn't remember seeing all those lights. And I thought, oh, when I drive her home, I'm going to have to look for that. Totally, totally untruthful. She did not set up a single light. <laughs> but she had me believing it. She was so good. She won a lot of competitions for table topics. One of the things I remember hearing about is that she was in a contest. And the topic was, what does a cat do? She stood at the front of the room for one minute and 30 seconds saying absolutely nothing. Listening, could, she could hear all the people around saying, oh, the poor lady, the poor old lady. Oh my goodness, the poor old lady. 30 seconds before, at one minute, 30 seconds, she went. <laughs> she won. <laughs> but she was, she was amazing. And if you ever stand in front of a group of people for even 10 seconds with everybody looking at you and not saying a word, it's stressful. So to be able to stand for a minute and 30 seconds is amazing. 